just take them. What up players, it's Wallboss Tape and this month today we're gonna take a look at these cowgirls from Black Scorpion Miniatures. So I know there's so many other projects on my table right now. I've got this White Scars Biker, this guy, Iron Warriors, Dr. Festus, but yeah, he's, he's just waiting for some more paint, but we thought we would unbox these gritty ladies here. There's four of them, and one of them is beside herself. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> So let's take a look at those. Check out the uh, the detail. Here's the first one. She must be a distant relative to uh, Dolly the pirate. I like how they've all got these dusters and cowboy hats. Most of them have this like um, carbine or hunting rifle, I guess, and a pistol, the six shooter pistol. You don't see much of those being made, so I think it's really cool. You don't. See you're not um, getting, I guess what I'm trying to say is you're getting really good quality. Not much flash or mold lines that I can see. You can see one right across the hat here. And some flash under the arm, behind the gun. But overall pretty nice. And I like how the, the brim of the hat kind of hangs over her face. So you could do some really good shadows there, but she's got a very nice jawline for a woman. Uh, the sculptor really nailed the angular lines, I think. What do you think of her one? Hmm. Yep. Yeah. This one over here looks very much like a calamity change. She's got a braid, which I think I'm gonna love to paint red, <laughs> like dark brown red. And she's got a very tomboyish looking outfit. Top tied at the cinched at the at the front, midriff showing, belt hanging off the hip, and what I guess looks like either a glove. It looks like she's wearing gloves. Yeah, so I think I'll paint those up as gloves. I'm not sure if those are bracelets or gloves, but again, a very angular face and a very like bemused expression, which is gonna be fun to paint. That braid, like the detail on the braid looks so really, really nice. What you think of her? Mm. Yeah? Sexy. Sexy. <laughs> Here's one that looks like she's wearing a corset and a skirt. The skirt looks vaguely American Indian with the ruffles at the bottom. I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed 3, so that imagery is kind of very stuck in my head at the moment. Some cool nifty little boots. I see a mold line on the inside of the leg there. A lot of flash, a lot more flash than the others, but look at the detail on the ruffles on the back right there. It looks really nice. And this one's got pigtails. Two braids on either side. That one looks like she's gonna be fun to paint. She's got six shooters. What do you think of this one? Which one is your favorite so far of the three? The one with the cowboy duster, the one with the uh, the braid, or the... Not so much, number three? Yeah. Okay, and here's number four. She's got, uh, she comes in two pieces, the legs and the upper body. And it looks like you're free to angle the body any way you want. You could have her aiming her pistol forward or angled off to the side. I guess it's up to you. How should we uh, glue her together, Lady Boss? This one over here. Mm -hmm. Straight ahead, like that. Maybe more interesting to the side. Yeah, to the right. I, I kind of say to the right because the holster's on the left, so it yeah, kind of evens it out. All right, so with resin, it's always better to use plastic glue rather than or not plastic glue, I'm sorry, super glue rather than plastic glue. And... What is, what is resin, you always say that? Yeah, resin is this material that's not quite plastic, but it's not metal. So, you so see how... These, these guys are plastic, the ones that came in the, uh, the Space Marine box, like this biker here is plastic. Resin is a little bit more malleable. Uh, plastic, if you put it near a flame, an open flame, it might not bend. 
uh, but resin will like drip and uh, or bend and warp and stuff. I am fascicle too eventually, but yeah, resin just much more so. Hey, what's going on here? Don't tell me my super glue dried in the bottle. Oh, 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 too much. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it also, uh, most, most resins also, and plastics too, they have this thing called mold release agents when they're making the models to make the, um, to make the resin pop out of the mold. They spray this thing on it and um, makes it pop out, but it also makes it hard for paint and glue to stick on it. So sometimes they say you should wash your resin models in plastic, but plastic not so much because of the material, but you should wash your resin models with warm water and soap to get all that mold release agent off because um, the paint is just going to run like water. It's not going to stick because of the mold release agent on the pieces. Mm. Yeah, I've seen that before with Forge World. And this one model, it was an orc on a motorcycle, and yeah, the, the, the paint just would not stick to him. So what my lady friend and I are going to do after this gets dry is we're going to glue all four of these ladies to their bases and then put some sand on the base and then go outside and spray prime them so the sand will stick to the base and then we can get start painting. This girl just does not look like she wants to stay. I might have to stick some uh, poster tack in there in between. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna jump ahead and we'll show you what these guys, ladies, what these girls look like when they're ready for some paint. And there we have it, players. All four cowgirls are built up. So uh, we're gonna actually prime them now. I decided to, the weather's not looking that great outside, so we are not gonna prime them right now. I'm just gonna show them to you. They look like ready for priming, ready for painting, and um, give you my score. So I love these models. I love any miniature range that is, or company that is willing to be daring, take a chance, and sculpt female models. And the theme, cowgirls, I think is just <laughs> totally awesome. And you don't see many of them out there. And these are just so well done, well proportioned. You could use them. I'm thinking of ways we could use them in the more popular games. I think they might make some good stand-ins for inquisitorial henchmen if you, you know, 40k them a bit. Add like a last pistol or a bolt gun to the waist or just some inquisitorial uh, rank insignia markings and stuff. Paint them up dark and gothic and steampunky. Then that should that should be able to make them fit as inquisitorial henchmen, maybe from a backwater feral imperial world that's sliding back towards um, maybe secession, something like that. But great, great ideas out there, great figures, great sculpts. The only thing was cleaning them a little bit was difficult. Some of the mold lines were hard to get at, especially for new painters. If you use a hobby knife, I found that you open up the resin and make holes, air bubbles, open up the air bubbles that are barely sealed over so take care anyways thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed this tutorial or tutorial this unboxing um a plus on these cowgirls so thanks for watching again and let me show you a comparison next to my iron warrior here they are pretty fairly human size so they could fit with your imperial guards squads like I said, inquisitorial henchmen, anything like that. So thanks for watching everybody, and we will see you in the next video.